new from Vinegar Syndrome is The Plague of Olds and the Vampire from 1960. Uh, this is one of those movies that Vinegar Syndrome have discovered and restored to a fantastic uh, transfer. It looks amazing. Uh, this black and white photography really pops in this one. It's an 81 minute short run movie and it has a plot that feels very familiar. We have a troop of five dancers led by um, their kind of manager. A man that feels uh, very sleazy uh, and uh, almost like a con man and uh, their driver. At the start of this one, you get the idea that they've run away from the hotel without paying the bill. They're just trying to get to the next hotel where they're probably going to do exactly the same thing. But the road has been blocked and they don't really have much choice. They can go up this rickety old road towards the big scary castle where locals have told them under no circumstances do not go there or back to the hotel where they owe the bill, they go to the castle. Hey, ragazzi, avete sentito? Un castello! Un vero castello! Non potranno negarci l'ospitalità! Ho deciso! Coraggio, Ferenc, avanti tutta! Destinazione Castello Carnassi! Si parte! And uh, when they get there, the strange count uh, takes a liking to one of the girls and invites them in to stay the night. And you kind of know what's happening from there. They get warned not to wander about the castle at night, stay in their rooms, lock their doors and don't come out. And that's within the first five minutes of the movie. And we're into 75 more minutes of this. And it feels elongated. It drags out. It's a movie at 81 minutes that has some real pacing issues for me. Una volta nelle vostre stanze non dovrete muovervi da esse per nessuna ragione, qualsiasi cosa voi possiate udire. Non prima dell'alba, comunque. Eh, there was moments where I was just tuning out. I was getting a little bit fed up with some of the characters in the antics. And I think it's because it's such a familiar story. It's something that I've seen similarly done before that it didn't offer much in the form of newness to me. You know, I loved the transfer. I loved the black and white photography, how it looked. It was something that was really interesting. The characters are kind of fun, although they all feel one-dimensional. It has this rushed finale as well. The idea of a vampire is, is held off as if it's going to be a surprise. It's in the title. Like we kind of know it's going to be a vampiric story. Uh, but the movie always teases it out a little bit because they are almost burlesque type of dancers. There is a sequence where we just stop for a few minutes and someone has to strip off. Which is hilarious because they're doing this dance routine and they're all dressed and then somebody's just like, this is your chance. And she does a strip tease, which nobody was asking for. I mean, it finishes, nobody says a thing. They just go back into the routine they were doing. And it feels so out of place and you kind of understand why it's been put into the movie. A little bit of titillation, a little bit of fun moments, but it offers nothing to the storyline here and I found that about a lot of things within the film like you kind of know within a few minutes into this movie the type of story you're going to get and it seems to follow that roadmap all the way through it so I found myself as much as I loved the production I liked some of the sequences and some of the characters I just it was struggling to hold my attention uh, at certain points which was a real shame because I I wanted to enjoy this one. I wanted to love it more than I did. Now, I'm not saying that I hated this thing. I just found it lacking in holding my attention and being a little bit too formulaic. <laughs> but that's uh, probably through another 60 odd years of seeing films similarly like this one that offered more interesting facets. The Playgirls, the Vampire, looked terrific, had some nice moments, some nice sequences, some nice characters. It was nice, you know, it was nice. It wasn't anything better than that. One of those movies that I'm glad to have seen. I don't know if I'm going to rush to check out again. Here we have it. Playgirls and the Vampire, I would love to know your thoughts on this one. If you loved it or hated it or felt somewhere in the middle, let, let everybody else know. Drop a comment. Uh, we'll have a little conversation with you about why, maybe. 
Uh, as always, there is more content up here. You can see more of my stuff. In the description box below are links to Patreon, membership program, and manvfilm.com. Always in which you can support. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.